Oprah. Two decades of Oprah available on DVD. Ooh. This will be lining Christmas stockings everywhere. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. This is good if for nothing else but to follow, you know, to chart um, Oprah's weight. Right? And her, and her many looks. She's been serving us a lot of different looks over 20 years. Oprah junkies are going to delight in the Oprah Winfrey show 20 years. It's due out in November, just in time for Christmas. Fabulous. I would love to get this for a Christmas gift. It's going to feature the best surprises, the wildest dreams, celebrity interviews, memorable non-celebrity guests, Oprah sharing her thoughts and feelings at, you know, of different things occurring, you know, in that particular moment in time. Wow. And the proceeds for, she doesn't need another dime. The proceeds for the sales of the DVD will benefit Oprah's Angel Network. That's her charity that she established back in the late 90s, making a difference in the lives of so many other people. To date, Oprah's charity, Oprah's Angels, the Angel Network has raised more than $30 million, 100% of which has gone to nonprofit organizations. Oprah, damn it, when are you running for president? She'd win. I mean, really, when are you going to run for president, Oprah? We really need that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I would love that. I mean, that's going to be big. If it's, if it's 20 years on a DVD, how many DVDs do you think are in the pack? Mm, might be four. four I might even box set. What does a box set include? I don't know. Maybe like four or more. Maybe like four or six, something like that. Might be best of shows. Well, wow. Oprah, when, when, when are you going to run for president? No, when? No, no, when, when are you going to get a personal life? Man. <laughs> right now, man. <laughs> Sorry. She's busy. She's, be she's busy doing the good work that none of us have time to do. She's busy being miserable. Exactly. When are you going to get a personal life open? When are you going to get a man to settle down and have some kids? Okay, when are you going to get it together? All that money don't mean nothing if you don't have a personal life and a marriage. Okay, you're unhappy. Okay, you're giving all your money to these people and how you doing and all this other stuff. You need a man and you need personal life. You need to be sweaty. You need to be soft and pink. And Gail just not cutting it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shout out to Chicago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Williams. <laughs> Oprah, you keep doing the good work. Keep doing the good work, Oprah. You're a die a lonely woman. <laughs> oh, here lies a woman. <laughs> Cop waves all in the couch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's time to go home. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Check me out later on the comedy factory. I got more for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's that's Art working on his monologue for the Laugh Factory tonight. Oh. <laughs> so Tyra's going to be um, having Vivica Fox on, and Vivica cannot... Damn, damn, damn! We are women of a certain age, Vivica. We are not supposed to let these youngins turn us out like this. Art and I were walking down the street, by the way. We went shoe shopping earlier today, and on the way back, Art says, You know what I noticed? I said, What, Art? <laughs> And he says, the evil eye. Them young boys be giving you the evil eye. Young girls. Young girls. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said the boys. No, the young girls out of jealousy. The young girls give you the evil eye. You know, I, you know the young boys look at you in lust. You know what, though? <laughs> that is very flattering. And I am a very, very married woman. But I have news for you right now. Uh-oh. This, what Vivica is doing right now, I just, can't, I just like, it, it makes my stomach turn. She's playing herself. Because Viv... Come on, we are women. We are captains of industry. We have lived and still have more living to go. We have been scandalous. But we know how to keep that flair back there. I mean, Viv says... Tyra says on the show tomorrow, why do you think... Um, all right, wait, 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 wait
She calls. All right. Let, give me a this just in so oh. I can be organized in my thoughts. I hate being rushed. Vivica Fox has some harsh words for her ex-sweetie, 50 Cent. She calls his way of dealing with their breakup ghetto love. The press about the relationship lasts longer than the relationship itself, the missing star told talk show host Tyra Banks. And she believes she was cast as the villain in the whole process. Why do you think the press does that? Banks asks. No, it wasn't the press. It was him. Fox replied, according to a source familiar with the show, which airs on Thursday, he was like, she's exploiting me. She's trying to use me to get publicity. Oh. But, you know, I just considered that ghetto love. It was his way of dealing with the breakup. Fox also said that she has 13 tattoos. Oh. <laughs> One on her arm that says strength, courage, and wisdom is due to 50 cent. Oh didn't. No, you oh, didn't. No, you didn't. Hey. No, you didn't. No, 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 you didn't tear up your 40-something-year-old body off the strength of a dusty Negro from Brooklyn. No. no. Take me out. Take me out. Take me out. All right. Hello? Hey, Wendy. Hi. Um, now, I screamed on you like three weeks ago when you were getting soft and pink with that woman with the six kids, um, the boyfriend. Okay. How are you going to start getting soft and pink on Eric Benet? He is not a friend to the show. Give me a break. You know what? Here's the thing. Oh, no. Well, okay, well, here it is, right? He slept with another woman in their home. I don't care how dry her coochie is. You still don't do that. To your wife. He's not a friend to the show. He might be a friend to you, but we are the show. He is not a friend to us. Absolutely. We want and you should have told him to put his old stink shoe feet back in his shoes and to take a hike. Think about what our celebrity friends to the show bring to us. They bring to He ain't bring nothing but dry ass toes. Let me tell you something. He brought more to the show than Morris Chestnut with his dry, boring personality. <laughs> he brought more to the show than Michelle from Destiny's Child. Come on, let's talk about the dry guest now. I understand now, come on that, now. But he's not a friend. As far as I'm concerned, when you're a celebrity, you're a friend to the show if you're bringing something to the table. Eric Benet brings exactly the ingredients that we on the experience like. Think about it. But it was like you were giving him a pass. I'm not giving him a pass. I was seducing him so he'll come back here with more of that action. <laughs> you understand the, what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, and I understand it now that you're saying it. Yes. But I'm, like, thinking in my head, why is she being politically correct? No, 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 well, no, no, if we want no, PC, no, no. we can listen, go to Oprah. Listen, listen. We want you to dig all, all up in his ass listen, when he gets on the listen. show. Friend to the show means drama and, and, and all that excitement, that salacious stuff. Friend in your head is a totally different thing. He's no friend in my head. Okay, okay. Another thing. Now, I, I didn't get a chance to call in last week, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm siding with Artie. He needs to get his fire on. If that little intern cannot get her butt in there on those days that she's supposed to be in there, then she needs to be hitting the bricks. Oh, you're talking about um, Kira. Kira. Oh, well, she's here today. Oh, I don't care. I'm, see, I'm quite sure that she doesn't miss her nail or hair appointment. How is she going to miss coming to work? You don't email somebody say that you're not going to be in work. How professional is that? Do you email? No. I just don't show up. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I'm serious. It's like she's not taking it seriously. And there are other people. She's taking room for somebody else. Okay. Well, and you should leave. You should have let, let Artie do his thing. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for calling. Look, I love listeners like you. Because you bring it right or wrong. <laughs> okay. I love that. <laughs> And You're you get welcome. angry at me and you let me know. I know. By the way, did you like Persia White? Persia White, she was all right. Yeah. Even though I don't watch the show, I really, you know, I don't really know what her character is like. But it sounded good. Yeah. But you know what? And she's a friend to the show. Yeah. But I'm surprised did you guys didn't crack on the song, though. More, more so that you did. Then oh, you did. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Well, that, the song is crazy. Well, no, 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 no. no. I mean, please. That's, I mean, let's, you know what? As a matter of fact, let me get off the phone with you mm -hmm. and we'll play a, a bit of Persia White's music. Oh, no. Please, no. Oh. <laughs> Psych. Art's giving me the same look. <laughs> I'm with Artie. Oh, look. Kira's in the room right now. Would you like to lay her out? Kira, get on the microphone. Uh oh. This this woman right here thinks that you should have been fired and Artie should have put oh. you under the bus. For what? Because you were not showing up. 
Who said you, I wasn't? Sh- I you was were here emailing. Every Friday. Emailing is not showing up. Are Email you, is not acceptable ever. Okay, but uh, um, when you go for your real job, your first opportunity to, to get a real job is right there at that okay, station. Okay, this is all coming from someone who obviously doesn't know the culture of this show. Do you think it's very professional to be watching porno during the show and showing it to all the interns? But, okay. Is that your idea of being professional? Yes, but, right. but this is a job, okay, so, though. What you yes, do at is, your job is, is something and, different. And I'm very Ooh. responsible, and the reason why I do email is so nobody up in here could say I didn't tell them in advance that I wasn't going to be here. No, but you're supposed to pick okay. up a phone. Um, and speak to whoever not, it is that you're is your superior. There are rules posted on the bulletin board that says call if you cannot make it. But exactly, exactly. But you're not. Right. Kara, Kara, when you go for your real job, when you get your real job out there in the world, they are not oh, going to accept an of, email. I know, I know all about it, and I treat this just even like even if you work at a porno as store. As just as important to me. If you as work a at a porno job. store, they're not going to allow you to email. You have to call and speak to somebody. Just as important as a real job to me. Is everybody finished? Uh, yeah. All right, because my name's on the marquee, and I said we gotta go. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye, Kira. <laughs> A mess.